Now, demolishing Aberdeen's ageing tower blocks may be cheaper than fixing them. That's the advice being put before a city council committee. It shortlisted five options on the future of eight buildings, varying from refurbishing the properties to completely tearing them down. The report recommends an extensive public consultation and wants a final decision to be made by next summer. Brandon Cook reports. They tower over Aberdeen weathered examples of post-war social housing and current homes to around a thousand people. Eight of these city centre blocks face a backlog of repair work and decades of maintenance. Now the city council wonder, is it cheaper just to get rid of them? A report which is going before a council committee tomorrow certainly thinks so. It details the growing deterioration and the challenges the blocks face going forward. Given these reasons, five options have been drawn up. One through to four include various levels of maintenance over the next 30 years, with the highest costing up to £480,000 per flat. That's up to £403 million in total. Option five is more radical, demolition. If that option was chosen, then the council would look to buy any privately owned properties within the blocks. And gradually, residents living in over 800 of these flats would be moved out and rehomed. The council predict this would cost less than half a million pounds per flat, which they say could be cheaper than footing repair bills. There's no work being done on windows, heating, um, even electrical stuff inside it within the last, well I've been there 13 years, so it's possibly 20 years before it was done last, so they're all inefficient. Generally folk are fine with demolition, but it's the rehousing bit that worries people, because the, the houses aren't there. There's a, a fair amount of private tenants as well that would obviously be really out of pocket. Um, they wouldn't really be compensated yeah. for it, so there's problems. Council bosses want to undertake an extensive public consultation with tenants and owners. But they'll also have to speak with Historic Environment Scotland, as last year they A-listed five of these buildings due to their unique brutalist architecture. Tonight, the government body said national policies strongly advise for the preservation of listed buildings. Until then, the question remains, as the council looks to balance the books, could the city's skyline be about to take on a new look? Brandon Cook, STV News.